Hi, it's Nancy from This Overstuffed House. Check this out. Okay, so not only does it have this great lithograph on the cover, but look at this cover. It is dimensional because the bird is raised up, the flowers are raised up. It is heavily embossed. Now, I'm going to have to clean it because, like, some little areas, like, right in the creases there, you can see the dust build up on this. But I'm going to give it a very careful cleaning. But the book just for the cover alone is worth it. Now, you can see there are little, you know, little issues. There's piece missing there, and you can see the, co the cotton underneath on here and let's take a look at the back even the back has this great little embossed design and a border you know what all that tells me edwardian oh look 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 patented march 1876 so yeah yeah that could be 1800s as well but this kind of fancy style on some things continued up until, you know, the early 1910, you know, but, but this, I mean, let's see if I can get some of this, this little bit smudge cleaned up. I'm not going to do much with this because that's paper that you don't want. And I have to be really careful around these worn spots because that goes right to the inner paper. But what do you see? Now this had to be some little girl's. It says Hazel and Mary Carter on the inside. And there's all these little pictures. Okay, so a lot of them you can see the back of this one. You can tell that's it's from a magazine with that image on the back. Looks like mom got some kind of top knot going on there. Um, I just had to, had to film this and show it to you. Now, they had to be little kids because, I mean, look at the, the little artwork things they saved. But when I saw that outfit, I'm like, well, we're looking at towards the Edwardian period. Definitely. Uh, bits of furniture, curtains. Now, this is loose. We're going to move this out of this spot because this is not where this goes. There's a ton of these. Now, we're going to put that with the rest of it. Look at this car. Does that not scream the early days of Downton Abbey? Early, early 1900s? Pre, definitely pre-World War I. Um, so, and there's a neat little Christmas thing. Another of those Santas. But look. Look at the paper dolls. I wish we still had clothing that had tops like that. I've worn dresses made to be that, you know, that 1900s Edwardian. And those tops are so incredibly comfortable. Look at them. Just beautiful color to these. Just absolutely. And you have a man. They don't often have a man. But cracked me up is he's got his gaiters with the straps to hold them on. Definitely. Definitely before the war. And you can see... We'll be super careful. He's out of some magazine. Uh, he's got quite a few suits. And then, of course, there's the little girl. But this is going to... I'm Now, this overlaps, but they're not glued. I'm trying to be super careful because the fabric... Uh, the fabric, the paper is so old. But... What does that say? I can't read that upside down. I'm not going to try to struggle here. Um, but yeah, they're not glued down on top of each other. Aren't, aren't they just fabulous? And then there's odd little bits. And then there's a bunch of these. Now, at least the ones glued in have, what do you know? And they numbered them. You see, here's one you can see it. With pencil. Now, that's important. Why? Because the answers for what you know today are on the next day's, they're on the next day's thing. 
And there's a bunch of them. Now there's 12 here that are glued in. And then there's some more. But then the numbers start getting kind of iffy. Now that says character tests on the back. I think that was a loose piece that got stuck with some glue. But look at them all. And they're not, these are not numbered. So you're going to have to look up the answers to line them up to know. And you have a thought from, who's the thought by? Virginia Jackson Safford. Oh, life is just so wonderful. The chance to strive and do and dare to try for higher, better things. The chance to smile in spite of care. The chance to know our fellow men and know the good that's in their hearts. The chance to see them just keep on, so bravely on, doing their parts. The chance to give a helping hand to those we meet along the way. The chance to view the beauties that God puts about us every day. Oh, life is just so wonderful kind of wondering what the so bravely on doing their parts is about the men really suspect that's world war 1 but we're going to we're going to take this loose one and tuck it in here now once you get to this point i mean there's a great santa there but there's very few pages in it and once you get to that then the rest are the other 3 pages are blank but what a gorgeous, gorgeous... I mean, the cover alone is stunning. Now, there is a product, and I've completely forgotten what it is. Uh, Misty from Thrifter Junker and Vintage Hunter had talked about it. That actually will... You soak the item, and it dissolves the glue underneath, and it does not damage the picture if you wanted to take this carefully apart. Um... I ran out and wanted to order more, and like an idiot, I threw the bottle out before I ordered it, so I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but there is something on the market that does that, so that you don't completely damage the pages or the items, but just the cover alone for decorative value, you know? I mean, you could have this faced out on your, um, on your bookcase. You could, for springtime, stand it up and have all kinds of cool stuff around it for decorating for the summer, for the spring. I just so love that bird amongst those roses. Those are wild rose. But isn't that gorgeous? So my, my next live sale is not until February 2nd, Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, because this week is just a chat and a work with me because after all, I, I, I got all these. Now, I moved the dollhouse ever so carefully up on top of the pile next to me because I I just, I really needed workspace. And I was going through a box because I'm trying to find stuff to uh, put together a book drop sale. This is not going to be in the drop sale. This, this baby is being saved and will be an offer up at the live sale on February 2nd at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Because this is just, this is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we all know who we're going to be fighting for this one. Warren, darling. I know you're going to be looking for this one. So I hope to see you there. And if you're seeing my channel for the first time, by all means, please hit the like button and subscribe. My third year anniversary of a channel is May 28th. And I am trying to get to 1,500 subscribers by May 28th. So by all means, please subscribe. Be glad to have you come. You can come on the journey of what it's like to in go through all the boxes from inheriting three estates. Oh, joy. It's always a treasure hunt. Makes it worth having to go through everything when suddenly you, you got stuff like this showing up. This is awesome. So... I'll see you all for the live chat and work with me uh, this Thursday night at 11 p.m. There's a, there's a video on the tidying up the dollhouse it's going to be dropped at 6 p.m. tonight. If I get the chance to get it filmed, 
uh, and find enough books. There'll be a drop sale dropping this, uh, probably this Saturday morning for uh, $5 a book book sale. And, uh, and hopefully on Sunday, I'll be able to do a work with me live at 2 p.m. Those are always kind of iffy because it depends on a lot of factors, including my son's schedule and if we have a car to actually do grocery shopping by then because it's still at the mechanics. They're not done. All right. I will see you all later. Bye.